Introduction to the Genetech Update Service The Genetech Update Service, or GUS, is automatically installed with most Genetech products and enables you to update the software when a new release becomes available. GUS will check for any updates at regular intervals, can be configured to download updates in the background for manual installation later on, and allows you to view when the last check occurred. Additionally, for subscription systems only, GUS automatically refreshes the license in the background to ensure it is valid and the expiration date is current. This does not apply to perpetual licenses. GUS also handles some features of the Genetech Improvement Program, reviews firmware for upgrade recommendations and vulnerabilities, and updates the license after a major Security Center upgrade. The Genetech Update Service is installed on every Security Center machine and works autonomously to perform software updates on the local machine. The main GUS is the brains of the operation. It displays a centralized view of all the enrolled machines and can send update notifications to them. The primary directory server is automatically configured as the main GUS. Additionally, the main GUS is configured as the proxy, will receive updates from the cloud, and distribute those updates to the local machines. This way, we don't need to have every server and client machine connected to the Internet and can reduce the number of downloads required to update an entire system. Having a single server act as a proxy to download packages also helps keep your system secure by reducing the number of machines that have access to the Internet. The main GUS is configured as the proxy by default, but this can be changed to any other machine that has Internet access. There are three ways the Genetech Update Service can be in operation on a machine. The GUS settings and options vary depending on the role of the machine it is installed on. The first configuration is to be a main GUS. If the machine has a Security Center directory installed, it will automatically be configured as a main GUS. The main GUS is used to accept or reject machines that are pending enrollment, and once enrolled, these machines can receive software updates that have been downloaded on the proxy machine. The main GUS is also responsible for pushing notifications to these machines to start the update process. We can also have a machine configured as a server or workstation. These are machines that are enrolled on the main GUS and are only able to install updates locally on their own machine. The actual software is received from the proxy machine, so no internet access is needed. The last way a machine can be running GUS is in standalone mode. In this situation, a server or workstation is part of a system with a main GUS, but has not been enrolled. The GUS will still function and will retrieve updates for the local machine if it has an internet connection, but ideally we would want a machine in this state to connect to our main GUS machine. GUS is a key component in the Genetech Improvement Program, but you're always in control of how much information you wish to collect and how you want to share it. The Genetech Improvement Program collects information over a secure encrypted channel to help improve its products. The data collected concerns the system usage, product versions, and system architecture. When installing Security Center, you'll be asked how much data you would like to share, but these settings can be modified in the server admin later if needed. The default value in the installation is, yes, I want to participate. With this option, you are choosing to share your system information and system ID with Genetech to help proactively support your system and improve communication. The two types of data that are being sent are health data and system configuration data. Health data includes the directories, roles, units, and entities that you have on your system and the up and down times of each of them. The system configuration data collected includes the machines, operating systems, and Genetech products installed, as well as the versions of each. The second option during the installation is, yes, I want to participate, but anonymously. With this option, the data is sent to a cloud service, but all identifying information is removed before it is sent. Genetech can still use this information to make improvements to our software but no one can access your data through the GTAP, and your system ID, machine names, and entity names are never leaving your local network. The final option during installation is, no, I do not want to participate, where no data is collected for product improvement. If you would like more information on these options, please see the Security Center Installation and Upgrade Guide, available from the TechDoc Hub. 
the Genentech Update Service supports updates for the following products. Security Center, including the general availability release, service releases, and cumulative updates. The Security Center SDK, or Software Development Kit. Security Center Mobile. The System Availability Monitor, or SAM. And the Stream Vault Control Panel, with more products and plugins to be added to future releases.